Hello to all of you and welcome back to the walking through an empty office building simulator better known as the Stanley Parable. So I am right about to continue my way through Stanley the had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of empty something? office? He hoped it was. <coughs> he hoped very much that it was. Brightly lit. Well, there aren't even all the lamps on, so but the windows are definitely very bright. The sun must be shining like hell. So I don't. I wonder what I will do this time. Last time, Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Last time, I completely rejected what the narrator told me to do. So this time, I think, well, let's just follow his orders. And still, I want to open all those. Damn doors! But I can't. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I absolutely love this presentation. Hold to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively under the co-workers and blah blah blah. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic under the header. It does and throw some bevel on all the text. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Ah, oh, very nice. Very nice to say that. Come next. Show me. Go on. Number of slides on this slide. Charts, charts and slides. Slides. Hmm. Perfectly in thirds. Rate at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. Oh man, this is too much information to, for me room closet. I feel I want to go in there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No. I'm gonna touch things. Touch it, touch it. Put my fingers everywhere. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Who knows? Who knows? I want to find out. I want to click every little inch of that. It nice. Was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. No, I'm he walking. Wasn't doing anything. I'm walking in the broom if there was closet. To interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. No, uh oh, I am walking. See, I'm walking up, down, up, down. Are you? Are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Just standing around doing nothing. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I like that room, it's bright and shiny and, uh, um, I don't know. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Who I knows? I thought to mention it. Who knows? I have no idea. I need to inspect it first. This is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> uh, no, they won't. They won't. They will find it absolutely uh, amazing. Was ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Blah, blah, blah. Drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Stop insulting me. I'm just very curious. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got no. to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. No. In a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. No, I'm still well, alive, sitting nearby, here, pushing buttons, talking. This computer is dead. He or she has <laughs> fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area 
and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game <laughs> and fill in on the history of narrative <coughs> tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. Oh man, I love this game so much. That, just step out into the hallway. Why? Apparently I'm dead. How can I step outside then? So? You finished? You finished? I think you finished. I finished ah, the narrator of. Ha! Good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who kept coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Who was before me? Upstairs? Downstairs? Okay, so I decided for this playthrough just follow the orders. Yeah, come on. What a nice office. Executive bathrooms. No. Another locked door. <coughs> More locked doors. But nice interior. Whoa, that is Stepping into impressive his office, Stanley office. was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? And another piano. Since uh, <laughs> layers of fear, I have definitely don't days, like pianos anymore. The terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number: two eight four five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two eight four five. What a coincidence! By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley ha, opened ha. the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing! He stepped into the newly opened passageway. No, oh, that's not luck. It's it's. I so smart. I so smart. I go anywhere? No. No possibilities for me to go another way than is supposed to. Too bad. I don't know, I'm going down. Where will this lead to? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I hope for answers to come soon, because this is... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I kind of want to go where it says Escape. Mind Control Facility doesn't seem to be that much of a good deal. But anyway, I'm the good guy this time. So oh, I follow all what the narrator is telling me to do. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley Ooh. thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Of course I have. Why wouldn't I? Because now I am here, so now I can... Continue pushing buttons. Now the monitors jumped. Ah, oh, fantastic! Oh, someone's fired over there. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Okay, can I find my room? My office. Lives of so many individuals reduced to images eight, four, on screen. Two, seven. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Come on, switch again, will you? And yeah, there we go. Huh? No. Damn you, game. Oh, there we go. Four, two, seven. There it is. And... Yeah, 
everything's in perfect order and as I can see absolutely no one is in the building right now I just call the elevator this mind control facility it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh my god, what a horrible no. fate. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't Ooh. it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. And there are so many colorful buttons to press. I want to press them all. Come here. Oh, a red button. A big red button. But I can't press this one. Ah. Well, need some power the facility. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yeah, as I already said, I am the good guy this time, so I was... Uh, yeah, destroy this terrible mind control facility by shutting the power off. And now... It's all dark. I could see something there and a rising chill of uncertainty hello What's where am I yes <gasps> he had won he had defeated the machine I can see light from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away and yet even as the immense door slowly opened Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Ooh, I can oh, see birds and clouds and the sky. It's into all the chamber, beautiful. He none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power. There are trees. That he had been but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. What a beautiful landscape. Stanley ah. felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. And I am happy too. Because I made it. I escaped that horrible empty office. But let me guess, I am back in it in just a second. As I just thought. Okay, so... I just leave the video here. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you did so, then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, share the video, or basically just do what you want to do, what you feel you should do. 
So, I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, have a good time and bye-bye! Uh,